act like you know how this goes. For the last three weeks, I've been playing around with a fitness technology and a device that claims to simulate the equivalent of a two hour workout in just 20 minutes per day to activate 90% of your muscle fibers as opposed to the approximately 40% that are engaged through traditional resistance training and a whole lot more. So in this video, I will give you a primer on electro muscle stimulation and my experience with one of the applications of that a system called the catalyst ems suit so that you can decide if this technology is worth pursuing for yourself before we get started this video was not sponsored by catalyst they did not send me the unit for free i actually purchased it myself and after liking it and seeing how i can incorporate this into my routine i decided to become an affiliate of theirs so if you use my code and my link, you get VIP treatment and unlock some specials that you wouldn't get otherwise. And in turn, I get a small commission. So first of all, what is electro muscle stimulation? There are entire videos dedicated to this subject. In short, it's applying small amounts of electricity strategically to muscles in order to activate either your type one, type two A or type two B muscle fibers, each of which has different impacts and helps with different sports from running to strength to power and beyond. So I received the box in the mail and I immediately knew that this was going to be one that I had to watch the full YouTube tutorial on how to use. Electro muscle stimulation technology in general is a bit more complicated than most other fitness modalities and you do not want to skip any steps. Although since EMS systems are medical devices regulated by the FDA, there are plenty of safety features built in so that you can't actually use it wrong and hurt yourself. So when I unboxed it, I found inside a battery pack, the innerwear or clothing I wear underneath the suit itself, and the suit itself, a spray bottle to wet down the electrode pads, and then four cords, two to connect each arm pad, to the body of the suit. So the process is you first take the suit out, you lay it on the ground with some towels underneath it, you spray it down, and then you put it on your body, you hook up the battery pack, and open the app. Once you open the app, you go through their catalog and choose one of the workouts for either your sport or for general goals and needs, such as either a strength workout, a power workout, boxing or yoga, you can do cardio, or you can even use it for recovery purposes. So the four main categories of programs with the Catalyst Suit are strength, power, cardio, and then recovery. You can filter by instructor, by your fitness slash EMS experience level, by duration, and plenty other ways of finding the perfect program for you. Once you start the workout, the instructor really holds your hand through the entire thing. The instructors are very personable. They know a lot about EMS training and they help the novice like myself. I had never used any form of powerful EMS until the Catalyst. So it was really useful to have their guidance as I was going along. Every single one of these EMS workouts are purely with body weight. Although I'm a huge proponent of resistance training with free weights and resistance bands, those do carry the risk of potentially debilitating injuries. It can sideline you for weeks or months and completely derail your progress. So it's nice to know that you can still activate the same muscle fibers with a quality EMS system without the same potential risk. So the way the system works is there are 13 channels. That's what they call the different muscle groups that you put electrodes over and stimulate with electricity. You can control the intensity of the entire suit all at once, or you can choose to just dial up or down the intensity of specific muscle groups. So say I have very strong quads, I can dial that up. And at the same time, say my arms are a bit weaker, I can dial that down and they make it very easy to adjust the intensity throughout the workout. Your instructor also though, will increase the intensity as the workout progresses. But ultimately you're in control, you get to choose whether you wanna follow them or exceed their resistance or to completely disconnect and do your own thing. There is definitely a learning curve to the catalyst and 
EMS in general, you'll want to budget some extra time for your first session or two because even the setup my first time took me about 30 minutes just to get the system on and to begin working out. Each workout consists of a series of body weight exercises. I find that after about five minutes, I'm already beginning to drip sweat and by minute 10, 15, I'm drenched. If you're like me, you might be wondering why spend almost $2,400 when a gym membership is about $50 to $100 per month, or free weights are a small fraction of that. So when I was comparing and contrasting the benefits of EMS training and the Catalyst system as compared to other forms of resistance training, I came up with a short list, and you can find more of these as I go on a blog post that I created detailing my experience in more depth, which will be linked in the description below. I will also continue to publish the research I come across showing how EMS works and the benefits of it there as well. So I'll quickly rattle off some of the things that make me a big fan of EMS training so far. First of all, the workouts are super time efficient. I'm able to get an entire workout in now in about 20 minutes and I can have the full suit set up in probably about five minutes, making the total time to suit up, work out, and unsuit and clean up less than 30 minutes. And if you have any commute to your gym, this can be a huge time savings. Second, as previously mentioned, there is virtually zero impact on the body. I really can't foresee any major injuries coming, and I cannot say the same thing about the heavy squats that I do. EMS training also has some interesting abilities to both correct muscle imbalances and to awaken dormant muscles. I don't really necessarily like that terminology, but the way it works is that when you're injured, your brain artificially limits your ability to contract certain muscle fibers as a protection mechanism. Electricity allows you to bypass that and build up strength and power and abilities for those tissues that otherwise your brain cannot recruit. So that's actually one of the main use cases for EMS in general, that is to help retrain your body to recruit more muscle fibers. What's cool about that is you don't even need to own a system to start getting those benefits. Just a couple sessions alone can make a difference. Since there's no load, you're also able to chain and combine multiple exercises into one. And you can also put the muscles through a greater range of motion. Throughout the entire workout, each of the 13 channels throughout the body remain activated. So you can be doing an overhead press and have your core activated and your hamstrings and your glutes and your quads so you're getting the most bang for your 20 minute or 30 minute workout buck. Form of EMS is often used in injury rehab settings. The catalyst can help in a very similar way. You can just turn off all of the channels but one if you want to isolate a particular muscle group and focus on that. Catalyst is also quite convenient. It's almost an all-in-one system because of the four different modes. It's available to beginners and advanced users alike. The whole system together weighs just about three pounds making it easy to travel with or to bring on the road with you. And they're constantly updating their catalog of different workout options. So you won't have to repeat any workouts if you don't want to. Of course, it also comes with some fairly obvious cons and drawbacks. And the first and most obvious one is the fact that this is a premium expensive tool. If you're new to fitness or you're doing great in your workout program already, it probably doesn't make sense. You also must wear their inner wear, which is essentially like tight fitting clothing that goes underneath the suit. And they only sent me two pairs, which I found a bit surprising for the price. It's not the end of the world, but if you do two workouts, three workouts, four workouts a week, that can be a lot of extra laundry just for the catalyst. As I mentioned in the beginning, there's certainly a learning curve. The first time I worked out, it took about 30 minutes to set up, about 20 minutes to actually work out and then another 10 minutes to figure out how to put away everything, to dry it, and to store it again. I got a lot more efficient after time, but initially it was a bit of a hurdle. Since you must wear their inner wear and the suit is tight fitting, it can be difficult to stack modalities, so I could not do blood flow restriction training or katsu or some of the other things I wanted to try with it but I guess that's not the end of the world because when you crank up the resistance, it gets quite difficult. In the app, there are a couple little setup tweaks that I hope they make. For example, you must spray down the entire suit and then put it on before you can check in the app to see if you adequately wet down each of the pads. 
I'm guessing that'll change, but for right now, that's the way it is. If you're finding this useful so far, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and drop a comment below. Let me know what you're hoping to get out of Catalyst. So overall, I think this is a really useful and powerful product. I imagine it's going to take off with professional athletes and those looking for innovative and effective ways to rapidly improve different parameters of their fitness. It's not for everyone, for the beginners, for those that are already doing great and are able to easily engage all of their muscle fibers, or for those without the premium budget for a fancy new tool, you might want to wait for the price to come down before considering EMS technology. And of course, Catalyst, as every other device that uses EMS technology, has certain limitations due to the technology, such as wetting down the suit or the electrodes in order to get the best conductivity and effects out of the workout. For my most up-to-date information around Catalyst, my changing experiences, and the research I come across, you can find that in the article I am linking below, and you can click the link to get a limited time VIP offer on your own Catalyst suit if this kind of thing sounds interesting to you. And if Catalyst isn't right, there are plenty of other awesome fitness technologies that you might want to consider to help you get better results in less time. I will put those on the screen right now for you. Have a great week and be an outlier.